What's up guys? It's Bob Morielli here with The Tuning School and on today's Tech Tuesday we're going to answer the question of how much more power can you make over pump gas if you're using an octane booster, meth injection, E85, or even race fuel and what's it going to cost you? So stick around and find out. Okay, so guys, welcome back. Today, we have the answers to your questions. And the biggest question everybody has is how much power can I gain on something other than pump gas? Other than like 92, 93 octane, straight out of the pump. So, of course, we've done a ton of testing. If you haven't seen any of our videos from the fuel test series, please go back to our YouTube channel, check out all those videos. Now, in addition to that, We've been working together along with Engine Labs, the magazine. You can go online, go to enginelabs.com, check out the articles we've written that give you a little more in-depth knowledge about all the testing that we've done. Now, overview, real quick. We did tests starting with 93 octane pump gas. It made 574 at the wheels with our supercharged C7 on our Mustang Dyno. So pump gas, 574 at the wheels. So let's get straight to answering some questions. If you go straight to the additives and you say, I wanna throw an additive in here and see if we gain any power, we chose Boostane. So we went ahead and ran Boostane and we found that for a very inexpensive price, I think it's like 25 bucks for a bottle of Boostane, you can actually go and make quite a bit more power. So we made 4.2% more power to be exact, which actually equates to 598 at the wheels. Now, how does it make that extra power? It's not magical. It just allows us to run the extra spark that the engine wants, but it couldn't tolerate it on pump gas. So, for a little bit of extra money, you can tune up a little bit hotter and get quite a bit more power, 4.2% more power for about 25 bucks. Great gains, no question about it. Next question, let's step up a little bit to a race gas. If I were to run a MS-103 or an MS-109, and I chose the MS-109 from our results, we were right at 604 at the wheels for a 5.2% gain in power. Now, I'm sure you're watching going, well, race gas is expensive. It is expensive, but you don't have to fill up the tank on race gas. You can only run it at the drag strip when you're ready. That's cool, but it is, you can't run it every day at that power level and keep the cost down. But the gains are there for the time you want the power. Let's do one more step up. So for about a 5% gain in power, you don't have to spend a lot of money. That's the, the quick and easy evaluation of what we found. Once you start trying to gain more than 5% based on the fuel, the additive, or the injection, you will start to uh, spend exponentially more. The next group of results are all the injections. So meth injection, or in this case, we also used boost juice. Uh, we did find substantially more power, but you're no longer spending 25 bucks to get it. Now you're stepping up to a meth injection kit, which is a good five or 600 bucks, plus the labor to install it. But you will find gains of about seven to 9% in power based on what you run. The boost juice makes great power. Straight meth made the best power in our tests. In fact, straight meth went and made 616 at the wheels, which is a gain of 7.3%. So for about 550, 600 bucks, plus some labor, or you can put it in yourself, you can gain about 7% power just by adding the meth injection. And of course, it does carry some power improvement, but you still need to do some tuning. Keep that in mind. Lastly, and the most controversial thing, meth injection versus E85, everybody on the internet wants to blow this thing up, right? We switched to E85 and we gained two more horsepower over meth injection. We made 618 at the wheels for about a 7.7% .7 gain in power. Now, here's the deal. I'm not putting it down because there are upsides to this. But the downside is, once you step up to a fuel that is ethanol based, you will need about 30% more fuel capacity. Now, I'm not talking about your fuel tank, I'm talking about your fuel lines, your fuel injectors, your pump, and all the associated things that go along with running uh, an ethanol based fuel. So, you have that bracket now where you're gonna make 7.7% all the way up to about 10% more power with an ethanol based fuel. Uh, but you're gonna spend the most money to do it. And we would estimate you're gonna spend about 1500 bucks and up to move to an ethanol-based fuel. So, quick evaluation. If you wanna add about 5% more power, go ahead and get yourself some Boostane or some MS-109, pop in the tank, do a little bit of tuning, and you'll go from about 574, which was our baseline, to 598 or 604. So a great improvement of about 
Now, if you wanna go up to seven or 8% power gains, you're gonna do a meth injection kind of kit. You're gonna spend about five, 600 bucks plus labor. And then lastly, moving to that last tier of extra power, going to an ethanol-based fuel, you're gonna spend probably 1,500 bucks, depending on what your car came with originally, but you can get up to about 10% more. And just to give you the total cap, like the very most we made, we ended up making a total of 634 at the wheels when we combined the best of both worlds, which actually turned out to be VP Racing's C85 race fuel that's based on ethanol plus meth injection. So you take some time and think about that, but go home and figure out, do I wanna gain 5% power for a little bit of money or 10% power for quite a bit more money? We hope you've enjoyed this video, and for more like it, be sure to uh, check us out on Facebook and follow us on YouTube, and as always, stay tuned. If y'all enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button, check out these other awesome videos, as well as these products and our website.